Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Last month I started to walk you through the email application I use on both macOS and iOS, and that's Airmail. As with a lot of the screencasts that I do, time seemed to escape me as every time I started recording or doing some more research, I found myself finding more and more cool stuff that I wanted to share with you. And that means I didn't even make it through the macOS section, let alone start on iOS. So today I'm hoping, well, fingers crossed anyway, to do some mopping up on the macOS version of AML before moving on to iOS. Now I'm recording this intro before I start doing the main recording, so who knows where we're going to end up by the end. So let's get started. OK, I'm going to start by running through a few display options for you that we didn't get to cover in the first video. So over here below the folder list is a hamburger button. And if I click this, we get a context menu that does a couple of things. So in the top half, we have some quick access to various folders or views. And then the bottom half allows us to pin some different filters to this folder view here. So for example, we can see here that we already have labels and the advanced view set. However, if I want to have a quick access pin to my VIPs, I can click that here. And the VIPs that I created in the first video are displayed. And I can just click on a name to see all the emails from that sender. Now, other options that we have here for pinning include muted. So if you mark a sender as muted, i.e. you don't want to see notifications for the mails that they send, then you can click on the muted section, which I don't have here because I haven't muted any addresses as yet. And if I click again, we have a similar option here, but for blocked. So in the middle of this context menu, we can go directly to a targeted folder. So if I go across to my Gmail account here, my folder list is there as well as a couple of labels that are created at the bottom. And down to my iCloud, it's very similar. As you can see, I can go straight to a folder from here if I just click. Now in the top section, I can go straight to messages where I've set a reminder. I can go to messages that I've marked as important. And I can go straight to my archive, which hopefully you'll not really need to do very much, because if you manage your email well, then your archive will be quite large. And you should be using the search functionality within Airmail to retrieve mail rather than manually go looking for it. And we're going to cover search very soon. Then at the top, we have the smart inbox. And the smart inbox filters out newsletters and other emails that Airmail may deem as distracting. So yes, this could mean that important stuff is being missed. It's not something that I use, I have to say. I do rely on rules to filter out newsletters and, and that kind of content. And again, rules is something that we're going to cover very soon. I'm just going to click on all accounts again now, which is the default view of messages that I always use. Now, we don't have to have all of these panes here on display. We can enable and disable them as we please. So I'll click on view. Then at the bottom here, we have some options for showing and hiding the panes. So we can show accounts. I'll click that. And we can see that we have four large account buttons now on the left hand side and it pushes the rest of the content over to the right a little bit. I'll click on view again. And this time I'll click on hide folders and the folder names are now hidden and instead replaced with the icons for those respective folders. So the main inbox is at the top. Then we have stars messages then snoozed messages, draft messages, searching the account and so on. And to see these icons for the other account, simply scroll down, click on the account name, and the folder icons are there too. So this certainly helps to minimize some space here. All right, let's go back up to view. And hide message detail will remove the far right hand pane, which shows the contents of the email message. OK, I'm just going to pause and re-enable all of these panes. And we're back. Now, Airmail does have some great options for carrying out other quick filters of messages as well. I'm currently in the inbox of my Gmail account, and at the very top of the message list is a row of quick filter icons. So on the far left, we can filter out to just see the unread messages. So I'll click that. And sure enough, the messages that are on show all have blue dots next to them on the left. So to the right of that, we can show starred messages. Now, before I click this, let's select a message and right click on it. Then I'll select mark as starred because I don't think I've got any starred messages in here at the moment. So when I click on the starred filter, I should see this message, right? Wrong. <laughs> There's nothing there. And if you look closely at the top, the reason for this is both the unread and the star filters are active. They're blue. And this means that all I will see are messages that are both unread and starred. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.